Hey guys, in this episode I'm going to show you how I cure and prep my own foxtails ready for hanging. First of all, you need a fox. Here's one we had just this week. Once you've got your fox on the deck, it's really quite a straightforward process to take the brush off. So we've got our fox, that's the easy bit. I'll sort of show you how to get the uh, brush off. This one's not a particularly good fox at this time of year. They're, uh, a lot of the young ones are still about, uh, and it's the what was it, 1st of October at the moment, so they haven't quite got their winter coats on yet. But nevertheless, for illustration purposes, I'm going to show you how I remove the brush. Usually I've got a couple of tent pegs with me which make ideal things, but if not, all you need is a couple of similar sized sticks and a sharp knife. The other thing you might want to do is just put some gloves on. That'll uh, help keep your hands clean. Right. What we want to do is cut around the base. So, so we're going to cut in. Bone on the carcass. Okay, so we've got our foxtail from last night on my chopping board. I have to do this sort of stuff when the missus is out simply because she would kill me. Right, what you'll need foxtail, a couple of tubs of meths. I use an airtight container. So, what I'm going to show you is, is one that I've had soaking now for a couple of weeks. So, I'll show you how I effectively get that into that. Also, what the finished result will look like. And then also, my bag of bits. So I'm now gonna show you what's in that. Okay, so these are the little bits you'll need. I've got some thick straws. Now I use these to get into the end of the tail so I can actually pour the methylated spirits down the tube to fill the entire tail from within. Next I've got these uh, split rings, uh, split rings, you can buy these off eBay, I got these from a local hardware store, they were 69 pence a pound, something like that, but that's just so you can uh, sort of hang them on the key rings. I've also got some brass, I'm not too sure what calibre these are, they are 9.3 by 62, fairly big brass anyway, and you want to seat it probably a good inch down inside the end of the tail, got a very sharp knife actually got that free from the shooting show um, and that I used to just to flatten off the end of the tail so I can fit the brass in nicely it's one of those and then I've also got a couple of um, drill bits as well so I can actually put a hole through the brass as you'll see there once I've polished it up it's just so I can put the ring you need to be careful not to drill it too near the end but also you don't want it too far down so that you haven't got a decent enough space to be able to, to hang it. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at the process. So, using the empty plastic container, I first of all put a small amount of meths into the end of the tail, gently easing the straw down and filling it with meths inside the tub. I then pour the remainder of that tub, plus half of another one, put the first tub upside down to seal it in to make sure the tail is completely submerged. Two to three weeks later, empty the meths and then rinse accordingly to clean the tail and follow the further instructions.
all I'm simply doing here is washing off any excess dirt that's on the tail. Open the hole at the end of the tail, put your finger in there and give it a good rinse out. Just make sure you get rid of all the evidence. Okay, next you need the hair dryer. Clearly, that's not mine. Give it a firm pat down, you'll be surprised how durable the tail is at this point. So you can see there the end looks nice and clean, however we need to level it off so that it sits right once the brass has been inserted. At this point, I'm just making sure there are no stray hairs that are going to get in the way of the gluing. Also, when you get to this point, you need to make sure that you're fairly swift. This glue sets extremely quickly, so uh, make sure you get the brass inserted to the degree you want it to fairly quickly. slowly ease up any excess glue to the top of the tail so that it's sealed all the way around being very careful not to get any on your skin having your fingers stuck to the tail at this point is a bit of a pain in the arse and there you have it the finished article 
I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to email or ask.